I, I have a confession to make. Mm. Um, this is the place for it. Yep. This weekend, Matt, mm. um, Jenna, your wife, was sending me snaps and they were turning me on a little bit. I see. Welcome to Multiple Nerdgasm with your hosts, Matt, Luke, and Dan. Multiple Nerdgasm, your guide to all things nerdy. A little mm. bit. Not a lot, a little bit. Well, actually, it was quite a lot, Not I'll quite be Quite a lot. Right. Yep. Well, was, I'm intrigued. It was this beefcake building a path. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. just yeah. Just single it on, just hammering, mm-hmm. hammering in the dirt. Hammering and in the yeah, dirt. Yeah, that's what- Hammering in the dirt. I don't know what it's called, it's but- It's called tamping, and I did a lot of it, and it's fucking awful. A path <laughs> where there was no path. I'll say this, Matt. Yeah. It looks like a real path. Doesn't yeah. look like some I'm- DIY- Nerd path. <laughs> no, I think we did all right. It's uh, It came out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so I put in a listeners. I put in a, well, not just I, she did as well. We both did. Put in a, a path from our deck down to these stairs at the retaining wall in the back of our yard. You know, can't even see my yard, so just accept that that's <laughs> the explanation. You don't know who has and hasn't seen your yard. <laughs> Go to Google Earth. Uh, no, don't. Google Earth. Yeah. We need to wait to get updated so it's got your path now. Yeah, that's a good point. Doesn't doesn't show up. Yeah, that was a hard fucking Maybe work. Maybe and, you uh, uh, in your shorts and your singlet tamping is going to be the image yeah. on Google Earth now. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. That'd be all right. How did you learn to do something like that? Uh, How did you the have internet. the confidence to just do it yourself? Yeah. The internet. <laughs> well, it's my house. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> It's fair. <laughs> like, what, what's the worst that could happen? No, we, we- I suppose that's true. I mean, Jenna knows how to do things, like, because her dad does, like, all that stuff. Like, he's a, like, a electrician, but he does, like, general contracting stuff. He builds all the shit at their house. So, I guess she's helped him over the years. And mm-hmm. and then we, we looked up stuff. Pavers, like, there's articles on the, Lowe's is, like, the hardware store here. There was articles on how to do stuff. And then we just did them. Wow. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, look, I mean, there's a lot of things that I that I would try DIY. I don't know that building a path is one of them. So kudos. No. Kudos to you and Jenna. Cheers. Yeah, came out all right. Came out, well, not all right. Came out great. I'm fucking happy with it. So. And you were nice enough not to put sweaty labor pictures of her up on the Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sure she appreciates that. She wasn't around, mate. Couldn't have taken She just showed up, took the photos and then fucked off. I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> She, she was also, also going to edit this that's episode. That's what she was doing. So I got to watch what I say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She was, <laughs> she was entertaining my friends. <laughs> so a lot's been happening this week. Yeah, like, man. A lot. A lot mm-hmm. today, even. Mm. But a lot. Yeah, it's been For- a big week. Where do you want to start? <laughs> <laughs> Jenna just sent us a picture of the path. Oh, there you go. Does look good. What mm. did you? What, did, what anyway. did you call it? What did you call it when you? How did it down? Tamping. 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 So you get like a, it's like a eight by eight inch, I think it is, piece of metal on the end of a stick. And then you slam it into the ground until the ground is flat. Right. And it's as fun as it sounds. And are these individual pavers like bricks and then there's some other consolidant around, around them? They're like, or- they're, welcome to multiple home improvement game. <laughs> <laughs> they're- um, <laughs> The, there are larger pavers that have like a print of smaller pavers on them. So there's actually less than it looks like there are, but there are quite a lot still. So each paver is about a foot square. That's a, well, it is a, oh, it is a foot square. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's made up of, it's got a print on it of lots of little ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you fill it in with the the polymeric sand afterwards, uh, it looks like there's lots of little individual ones. Mm. It, it's very convincing. It- uh, Matt, I think my favourite thing, I don't know about you, Luke, but my favourite thing about this image is actually the hat, I think. I think it's <laughs> Wait, hat. how do you still have the fucking photo up? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, because she's sending them. I just noticed. Yeah. 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 I bought that hat on purpose because uh, I have a little bald head now <laughs> and uh, I get sunburnt. And so I bought this hat. And then mm-hmm. as soon as it arrived, I was like, look, I got a hat. And Jenna said, I fucking hate you. <laughs> But Why? now, because Matt, we're 40 years old and that is a perfectly reasonable yep. hat for a 40 year old man who works mm-hmm. in his yard. Okay. <laughs> now, whether or not you thought you'd become that person is irrelevant. <laughs> I, I bought the hat 
I, uh, it's my own fault. I've so. actually got a hat coming in the mail that I'm pretty excited yeah, about. See, that there you go. Way is not excited about at all. Um, <laughs> it's my- are you going to commit to it this time? Yeah, I, I am because I. I what kind of hat is it? Good money for this particular mm. cowboy hat that's coming my way. <laughs> oh God! Yes, coming from you've the- tried the cowboy hat before. The wrong one. I- I've gone straight to the source now. This one's coming from the USA. It's a hey, Stetson. The Stetson. Yeah, there it you is go. A Stetson. Yeah. There you go. See, I'm more of an Akubra man myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fair. It's fair. Mm-hmm. I had to actually had to fix some stuff in my house as well since might as well continue with the house improvements. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone's like, talk about fucking mixer, talk about Apple, talk yeah. about it. No, no, no. no. Luke, yeah. tell us about your plumbing. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, he's actually plumbing. The dishwasher, <laughs> oh. we went to use it the first time. It kept coming up with an error. And so I looked into it and it worked out the piping for it had been wrapped around another pipe and was folding in on the itself. Fuck? And I'm sort of like, no plumber would have done that. Like someone, the okay. couple who lived here before us, before we brought that, they split. I think some one of them was being a dick and actually broke it on purpose. Just wrapped the one pipe around the other pipe? Fucking conspiracy Yeah, so water wasn't plumbers. getting into the dishwasher. Like wow. it's not, it has to be vindictive. It's not something that could happen <laughs> by accident. <laughs> I think it would take a, a lot for a plumber fucking to be I'll like, you know, fuck you, I am going to change the fucking piping to this house. <laughs> Maybe yeah. the plumber was just like, you know what, I'm going to be the creative plumber. <laughs> One day someone's going to pull this dishwasher out and be like, that's beautiful. I, I'll I'm tell like, you, if, no, if, plumbers, if plumbers acted like the fucking creatives in my industry did, you would get shit like that. You would have, you would have right. things in concentric circles and you would go, what is this? And they would be like, it's all mm. about the design. And you would go, yeah, but mm. no water can get in. And they're like, yeah, but that would spoil the design. <laughs> We're not going to compromise but, our vision but for yeah, water. I, I want water. <laughs> yeah, the only reason someone's paying you to do this at all is because they just want water to get to their house. Have you seen that the, that uh, video of the it's the design meeting or whatever and they're, they're talking to the engineer and the designers are like, we need you to draw three mm-hmm. perpendicular lines um, and two of them need to cross just at the end. And then he's like, sorry, what? Yeah. So it's three perpendicular lines. But, and then when, at the point where they cross over, sorry, the perpendicular lines are going <laughs> to cross over. <laughs> and then, and they're like, Perpen- oh, perpendicular to what exactly? And they're like, well, we expect you to know what perpendicular means. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's very funny. <laughs> that is a great video because it is literally conversations I've been in. Oh yeah. Same as a, yeah. as a software engineer. 100%. Yep. I think we're all working in industries where that happens. Matt, mm-hmm. Matt, people just ask for things that they don't understand. It. Uh, just want to go and live in a cottage in the woods. Oh, you already are, Matt. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, was it Jake Scott that you worked with on a commercial one time? Uh, it was um, Jake Scott. Yeah, Jake. I, I, yeah, watched sorry, a, yeah. I watched a Jake Scott movie this week. Oh, did and, you? Uh, yeah, I was thinking about that time where uh, he asked you and your crew why you were all wearing the same shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, we just all like the shirt, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, I'd recommend it, but it was just a drama about a single mum, and it, uh, honestly, I, I didn't get to the end. It was very well made, I just didn't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> well, I've only- well, you probably weren't the audience for it. Have you ever seen a TV not. commercial he did for, I don't remember what product- but it had a tent in the middle of uh, Centennial Park in Sydney. Mm. So if you, if you ever happen to see that, which you won't, but that's, uh, that's what I worked on with him. All right. So let's go into some follow-up news. Okay. I think the biggest one would be Billy Mitchell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's back. He's so, back. So we've talked well, about Billy Mitchell. We were all fans of Billy Well, I don't know if fans are the right term for it, but we all uh, were yeah. entertained of, by of Billy sort. Mitchell. Yeah. Fans of a sort. And, uh, you know, he has been in the news recently, which we reported on because he was stripped of his title. Yeah. Mm. Fuck off, and mate. not just one of his titles. Like, they just stripped all of his titles. Yep. Stripped him to the- I was going to say, stripped him to the dick. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so Billy Mitchell was the, the, the bad guy in King of Kong. Mm-hmm. And it turned out that he was a bad guy. In the King of Kong, because they were trying to make it seemed like in the show they were trying to make it more of it than what it was. Yes, and then it turned out that he quite quite possibly did cheat. They stripped him all, and then he's gone around going, "Look, he's going to sue Guinness and Twin Galaxies." Mm. And Guinness went, "All right, have him back." Uh, why? Why? Why are they? 
reversing the decision? Has he done beaten them again, or is it just the allowing the old ones again? I think Guinness have said that there's no reasonable evidence to suggest he cheated, so they're yep. just not going to strip him of his titles. But wasn't the whole point that he was playing on an emulator and you're not supposed to do that? So are they saying that he wasn't playing on an emulator or they're saying you, that there's I no evidence that he I think you can play on an was? emulator. It's just that you're, you have to disclose that you are, right? Yeah. It, there's strict rules about how you have to do it. Like you can play emulators because sometimes that's the only way to play some of these old games. Mm. But it has to be clear that it's the correct build. Uh, we, we should we should remind people if in case they don't know he is the reigning Donkey Kong and Pac Man also right yeah he was yeah. really good there there are some people who are just good at those like original mm. arcade games like Donkey Kong Pac Man Centipede like that just <laughs> and he's had the yeah. high score on Donkey Kong and I don't, did he still have the Pac Man score until recently I don't know but Donkey Kong is the one he's known for because of the I think the, the, the big one was. It, it's um he was the first to achieve like there is an end score on Pac-Man so a lot of people actually have that but he was the first oh, one to okay. achieve the perfect score gotcha perfect Pac-Man yeah. and the other one was he was like the first person to get over a million points because Donkey Kong's a weird one because there is a kill screen mm. so there's no it's not like you just keep going forever and ever and ever mm. it'll get to a point where it'll just shit itself shut down yeah. pretty much so it's being able to get to that point without it taking so much time that it shuts down. No mm-hmm. one ever thought so, anyone would finish a video game back in the day, did they? Yeah. No. No. Because like, I've played those games and I'm not good. Who's got that many quarters? I, I haven't even finished Tetris. You know what I mean? Like, and, and <laughs> I played a lot of Tetris at one stage. You know, I was Does determined. Tetris end? To, no, I think Tetris, yes. I, I think Tetris huh. is made so that you can't beat it, surely. No, there, there are people who have beaten it. And beaten in some of the new Tetris, Tetris games, the, what happens when you get to the end is the blocks are invisible. No. Jesus. How is that even playable? You get to see what block is coming next, uh, but the actual blocks on the screen are invisible, and people have beaten that. And do they still ramp the speed? Yeah. Wow. Turns out if you beat Tetris, you get to become the president of Russia. <laughs> That's how Putin got in. Mm-hmm. No one's beaten him. Did you did you hear? Because you know you know you're only supposed to do two terms back to back, right? And Putin did two terms, right, back mm-hmm. to back. Then he made didn't his, change the law. Then he made well, he didn't technically change the law. He just made his <laughs> prime minister the president and put himself as the prime minister for two terms. <laughs> then swapped then swapped back, right? Which is why he's currently the president again. He is now coming up on the end of his second term, and he is now trying to change the law to just say, hell. I can indefinitely be the president." What a smart yeah. ass. And, yeah, like some people are quitting over that. And, yeah, you don't want to really go against him. You know what's funny? Oh, though? When, no. you, when you go to Russia, yeah, exactly, Luke. When you go to Russia and you like people, you ask people about it, oh, what, are, what are your politics? They're like, I love Putin. And you're like, <laughs> really? Because I, I get the impression yeah. that he's not actually so popular. They're like, he's great. Yeah, You're like speaking into all. the plant. Yeah. No, we love him. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard this story. There was um one of the NF... Uh, American gridiron football, whatever you want to call it, uh, mm. coaches had like his Super Bowl ring. Mm. Putin came over and like he met Putin. Putin goes, "Oh, can I can I try it on?" And he goes, "Yep, sure." He hands it over, and then Putin keeps talking, and then just walks off. <laughs> and then he, he asked about it a little bit later. He go like one of the guards, like, "Can can I get my ring back?" And they've gone, "Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Like that's his now. That's not your ring, mate." Putin like, played in wow. the Super Bowl, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, they deep fake all the, the videos of the game. Just Putin out there. <laughs> I in do. every single position. Cool. I do like, uh, uh, I think Putin in every single position is a website you just want to stay off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I have enjoyed watching deep fakes online, though, of people doing a better job go of, on. of Princess Leia <laughs> than, oh, oh. Uh, than Disney did when they. Uh, <laughs> mm. Oh, in Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker and also Rogue One, uh, which I loved, but, oh, oh. but arguably that wasn't a good moment. Um, and also Tarkin. But at least in, that was uh, quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no, but it's weird how yeah, people on the internet, a lot of them just making porn, are doing a better job than, like, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you've, when you've had so much practice on porn, you know. Mm. They need <laughs> to actually go out and hire some of those guys. Mm. 
They probably yeah. are. The porn stars? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That'd be a that'd be a different Star Wars movie. It, it I've is. I've seen that movie. Yeah. I think. And Luke skipped all the sex scenes and just watched the special effects. <laughs> this it was. I don't know how they got away with it. It's not a parody. It's a shot for shot remake <laughs> with sex thrown in. I was going to say. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember all of yeah, it. Just a few shot for shot, scenes. Matt. <laughs> shot come shot for come shot. <laughs> when Gus Van Sant did a shot for shot remake of Psycho. And the only there's only mm. two shots that are different in the entire film, and one of them is <laughs> Norman bother? Bates. Norman Bates masturbating while he watches her in the shower, yeah. and it's like, okay, Gus, like, just because that's what you would have done. It's like <laughs> when bands do covers of songs, but they just do it the same. Mm. Like even like if you're a metal band and then you do a cover of a non-metal song, but you don't do it metal, you just do it. Yeah, you just the play way that song. Like I don't know, it seems weird to me. I lost an afternoon this week watching there's this phenomenon online that i don't know if you've seen it is millennials listening to metallica for the first time <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. god i feel old and um yeah i mean they're like they're, they're kids almost react to or the whatever. band is almost 40 years old at this point <laughs> oh, god. the band yeah not the people in the band but yeah. um yeah yeah, yeah. uh 81 i think they got together right if i if i remember that correctly um, could be, yeah. So that's 39 years ago. old. But, um, yeah, so it's it's basically kids react too. But you've got all these kind of like, I don't even know what you call them, fucking TD boppers, right? <laughs> Going, okay, you know, uh, Metallica, I've not heard them, but I've heard the name. I expect I wear the shirt. Expecting, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I expect it's going to be really growly and, and, and distorted. And, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, let, let me heavy. listen. You know, and then they put on one and, uh, mm. you know, halfway through, you know, a single tear is mm. rolling down their cheek and, and they're like, <laughs> oh, you know, I had no idea that, you know, alternative music could uh, have so much resonant potential meaning and, you know, it's wow. just... It, it's this whole thing. Now. They definitely didn't say that, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> that were my words, not theirs. So yeah, yeah. It's not even millennials anymore. It's something else, right? The millennials oh, are now looking down on the next generation, whatever they are. <laughs> millennials have no right to look down on anyone. Oh, no, but that's that's what they said about us, Dan. That's what they said about us. But we do. <laughs> yeah, we do it anyway. That that is true. But we, you know, I mean, we're with. I mean, we're not a good focus group for it now. But we're like the first generation. Who doesn't own their own homes? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, mean, I know I you guys do. Own it outright. Yeah. All right, okay, not outright. <laughs> I, I owe I a lot ask of money, Matt, on it. That deck around your house was it there when you got there, or did you and Jenna and Jenna's dad build that as no. well? <laughs> no, it was already there. But that's a, that's a nice deck. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. Um, I think at the mo- it goes from millennial to Generation Z. Yes. So that's it then, is it? There's no more yeah. after that. No. no more. That's it. You know, well, we, the way the world's yeah, going, that's should, quite possibly we true. We should have started at A, be. and then at least we would have gotten 26. Starting at X in the 80s was a terrible mm. idea. Yeah, he didn't leave a lot of room for future generations. I mean, this is a worse hey. debacle than the Xbox naming convention. Mm. At least they went to one. I mean, it was the third one, but still. Well, there's a bigger debacle with Xbox now. Yeah, you've said the, mm. you've said the word Xbox, so let's, let's hear it. What have they done? Just, just today- I'm they have shocked. shot themselves in the foot. Such a fucking weird thing to do. So at the moment, there's the big talk about the next consoles coming out, and everyone. A lot of the news articles I'm reading is Xbox in a good position to win this. Everyone's talking about Xbox and how it's going to beat PS5. And in, they come out today and not announce a price or a release date or anything like that. They announce they're getting mm-hmm. rid of Mixer and they're yep. moving to Facebook Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> fucking who wants that? Because they missed Honestly, the boat on Twitch. Who uses Facebook now? Because uh, I, I've, I haven't posted on Facebook for years now. No. My, my dad is now on Facebook and he posts mm-hmm. stuff. Is that, is that the target audience for the Facebook gaming? Surely not. But kids don't use this either, right? I didn't know Facebook gaming was really a thing. Because this is for like when you're playing your Xbox and you want to stream, mm-hmm. you- uh, like uh, Facebook can do that? I didn't even know. Well, like you can stream directly from your Xbox to Twitch and everything, so they must yeah, be yeah, yeah, but must be able to do it with Facebook as well. But how many know. people out there, listeners, write in podcast at multiple nerdgasm dot com? Did you even know you could fucking do that on Facebook? Well, how do you thing, even do that? Evidently, Facebook gaming has more people watching than Mixer did. Someone must be on Facebook for it to be a 
yeah, juggernaut that it so. is. But you're right, though. Like, kids don't give a fuck about Facebook, right? No. And this kids is why- hate Facebook. So Microsoft, I think they've gone from a great position where they're moving forward to they're now going to go a few steps back because now all the news is going to be about everyone hating on Mixer going to Facebook and how everyone doesn't want Facebook and- because the thing is, they didn't tell anyone they were doing this. They literally just announced it today, like right after the fucking Apple keynote, the big Apple thing today. And then they, Microsoft's just like, oh, by the way, we're, um, Mix is going away on July 22nd. We're going to mm-hmm. shove you all over into Facebook gaming. Have a nice day. The smarter thing to do would have been to have done this after the release of the next console. Yeah, or... Yeah, or should not do it. Man. Or it brought to Twitch when you had the chance. Did they, maybe did they need to for some reason? Was there some reason that they had to do it right now? So strange. Yeah, the timing's just odd. But I know someone who's loving it, Ninja and Shroud. Fucking unbelievable. So They, they got just got in- paid. Ninja got paid $30 million Shroud to leave 10 Twitch. $10 million. $10 million, yep. Fuck me. To go to Mixer. And now well, they just walk away. They, evidently, they were offered both. They were both offered to double that if they went to Facebook as well. Yeah, but why? Who needs it? Who needs that much money? Just fuck it. <laughs> oh, I could either I could sign up and be forced to go exclusive on Facebook gaming, or I could just walk away with three slash ten million dollars. Hmm. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't. Someone's getting fired. We'd like to announce officially that Multiple Nerdgasm is going officially to Facebook now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Facebook we'll divide gaming, the 30 whatever that is, between we'll us. be there. Yep. Luke, what do your Eshe niece and nephews use? Just my nephew. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know. I think, I think Snapchat's still big with them. Right. Mm, I think that's how they- Stream games on Snapchat? No, but th- they don't, I don't think they really stream. Can you ask him, know. can you ask him to just let him know, to let you know what- mm-hmm. What social media is important to him? Is it just Snapchat? If he games, mm. how does he game? How does he stream? Okay. Or let's just bring him on that. the show and we'll ask him. Yep. Yep. I'll try and organise that for next week. Okay. Generation Z guest appearance. Yes. We should, we should have a lot of questions lined up for it. <laughs> Listeners, write in if you want. Ask an essay. So apparently on Mixer today, it was just a bunch of people crying. What? They were crying? Yeah, because well, because every literally they didn't tell anybody in advance. It was literally people who were trying to build a career as a game, you know, great streamer, who've like built up these audiences and stuff, and then they find out like they're like, oh, by the way, you're shutting this down, and you have to go over to Facebook. And mm-hmm. a lot of them aren't going to go to Facebook. A lot of the viewers, I don't think, no. are going to go to Facebook. They basically just screwed these people. Mm-hmm. And that's like literally. Apparently, it was like if you just flick through the channels, it's just a bunch of people crying about it because oh. it's like like literally because. I don't know. These, I guess they were dreaming of becoming a, then becoming a ninja. ninja, and then now they just Microsoft's just like fuck you. So I, I don't understand how people do this for a career. I could like no. it's something where you, you'll see it. They will if they go away to a convention or something, or even TwitchCon to promote their channel. They lose viewers because they're not streaming. It's one of those things. It's like YouTube relying on a platform is not great especially Mm. when it's like in the modern day like like youtube you know has all these things about you know but you can't swear on youtube anymore Mm. oh otherwise they demonetize you no if you you swear demonetized so that's like a lot there's like a ola england uh he's a guitarist he does a lot of you know guitar videos reviews amps and stuff like that Mm. he used to swear he's like a fucking grown adult metal guy like he but, but he can't swear on there anymore so he has to bleep it and if he does a live stream on youtube and he swears He's like, ah, oh, fuck it. Like, I yeah. forgot. Dem- I forgot. Demonetized. Money's, demonetized. Money's gone. Yeah. 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 That's it. Blew it. Yeah. So. Oh, do they, when they demonetize, I swear I've seen stuff that's demonetized before I went to, like, Google, what's, before I started paying for it, where they'd be demonetized, but they still play ads on it. I've seen that happen. Well, they, yeah, they just don't get the money, probably. Which, how does that work? You're still <laughs> advertising, but you're just not paying yeah. them for it anymore. YouTube gets it. But I've I also guess. wondered about, because I do have YouTube Premium, that mm. if I'm watching something that's demonetized, but that's the only content I watch, does my money still go to them? Or I imagine no. it's probably like I Spotify, like we does. talked about. I don't know. I think it's probably just like I doubt it because if they're demonetized, they're demonetized. But that to me is kind of bullshit. That if I'm paying well, for it and that's the content I'm watching, that's who I want to support. Mm. It's not YouTube, but right. Doug, Doug, who has his online comic, um, basically 
if he puts a dick in his comic, it gets demonetized. So basically, hmm. if he's if if he's struggling to pay rent one week, he'll just make sure that there's there's no tits, no dicks. No dicks. And um, if he's <laughs> there's a lot of he's, tits and dicks in that comic, normally. If, exactly. So if he's flush, he's just like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think well, stuff like I'm that- just worried. I'm worried about the new Xbox now. What fucking Facebook shit is going to be in the Xbox Series X now? If that's their streaming platform, that worries me. Well, I think they've always had it that you can invite your Facebook friends on Xbox, but, but yeah, I hope but it just stays at that level. wasn't wasn't built in, was it? Like, yeah, I think it is. I think if you go into your friends, I think you can do a search mm. for Facebook friends. All right, well, I don't want Facebook all up in my Xbox. No, it's got me. It's got me looking at the PS Five. And I bet it's got a lot of people looking at the PS5, so good move, Microsoft. Yeah. Fools. That's what I say. Like, they've shot themselves in the foot. They were coming out well ahead, and then they decide. They're Maybe like they're like, now's like the time. <laughs> we're doing all right. Now's the time. Yeah. We can only go down from here. So I don't think Mixer was that bad. Well, they were losing money, I think. That was the mm. problem. Because they were giving $10 million and $30 million to people left, mm. right, and center. Where's ours? Yeah, we'll stream know. exclusively for anyone that wants to pay us. <laughs> we don't that. stream anything ever. <laughs> that's the, that's why for that type of money Honestly, I would though. Luke, yeah, but they want to see is, you do it first. <laughs> this is not the time to be on the internet. You know, nah. don't. <laughs> not for not for us. Don't let people look at you, watch you, or know your name. No, it, we can't. <laughs> yeah. We just cannot. It wasn't just Microsoft that uh, had some big announcements. Mm. Apple have also thrown their hat into the into the controversy ring. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was rumored. Well, actually, actually, part of this I, I surprised me. I didn't know the well the, the the processor thing. Right. Been people have been talking about this for weeks and well, actually months. They're ditching Intel. They're going with their own CPUs, mm-hmm. same ones that are in the iPad and iPhones, which makes well, sense because they're very but, powerful. Yeah, it's and been they a work time. and. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that affects fucking all the applications that you know and love. Because we've been through this before. <laughs> it took a while for things to fucking work. Mm-hmm. So, and sure as remembers. listeners to this podcast will know, I've recently downgraded from the current operating system to mm-hmm. an older one so I can keep using the fucking apps that I like using. So the fact that they've announced... OS 11 is uh, really just something that I'm not looking forward to in the slightest. <laughs> Even less of your favorite apps will work. <laughs> I, honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait to get a PC. Did you see? So the, the thing that surprised me that I didn't expect, and I can't decide if I hate it or if I like it, mm-hmm. is the redesign for uh, Mac OS 10 16. Big Sur mm-hmm. is the code name. Big Sur. It looks like iOS. They've made Mac OS into iOS. It's got all the big buttons and knobs that look like you're supposed to touch them, except you can't touch them because it's a Mac and they don't have touch screens. So yeah, I, I can't decide if I hate it or not. I hate it uh, and um, I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've never been an Apple fan. Mm. I don't know how to use them. iOS and uh, iPad OS 14 look pretty good Okay, for phones and iPads. So that's good news, I guess. But yeah, the the new Mac OS mm. and the new Macs. Mm. Mm. You've lost mm. the customer. <laughs> well, they already had. I'm on a PC right now. Yeah, well, they lost. I, I do have my iPad here next to me, but <laughs> <laughs> but I, iPads are yeah. very different to a computer, though. Yes, because you're not working on them. That's what you use for just like browsing and. Well, people do. You can. It depends on what your job, what your work is. Mm. But I, I have an iPhone, and I've always had iPhones since the very first yeah. generation that was available, except for whatever the newest one is, because I don't have that. I'm still on the yeah. on the ten, because there was just nothing about the eleven that made me want to upgrade, I've been and that's Probably unusual. Lenses. Yeah, see, those lenses just didn't mm. pull me in. And if I was going to buy a new camera just for a lens, I'd get the Pixel. Like if I wanted to just yeah, have right. a ca- have a phone that was a great camera as well, I wouldn't get an iPhone. Doesn't have a wide angle lens though. The Pixel does it. Why would you want a wide angle <laughs> lens? <laughs> I don't know. I like it. Of all lenses, if anything, no, they like should put mine. a telephoto lens. 
Look how wide I am. <laughs> no, I like it. Useless. <laughs> well, iOS 14, it's basically got a bunch of Android shit where you can put widgets on the home screen now and you can. Oh, okay. Um, that's interesting. You don't have to have every fucking app that's installed on your home screen anymore. You can right. just hide them away in a folder. Kind oh, of, so literally customize a little bit more. Yeah, like now the way that they are on the current version, everything you install just fucking shoves itself onto the screen. Like they're all just fucking there and you can't get rid of them. You can put them in folders, but it's still not that great. But now mm-hmm. you'll be able to just hide them. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the other one that's cool is uh, Snap Apps, I think they called it, where you can- if you, you know, like, say you want to go pay for parking and you're like, oh, I don't have the fucking app for this place. And then you have to f- screw around. Now they'll have like an NFC thing. You can tap it and it will, it installs, it called it like a snap app. It's like a little 10 meg version of the app. So you can just pay for the parking and then fuck it off oh, and you don't have to install okay. it. So that's pretty that's cool. interesting. Hmm. You know, in Singapore, everything you pay for is the same technology. So- you know how in Australia, I don't know what they have in America, Matt, but look, in Australia, you have mm. that thing behind your rear view mirror of your car that you mm-hmm. pay for tolls with. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. We have that. Here, E-tag. That E-tag, yeah. Here, that also pays for parking. Um, oh. anything, anything to do with your car gets just paid off of that. And everyone that's has awesome. this thing. It's called a cash card. Yeah, that's great. And it's basically all your digital transactions involving roads and vehicles are just the mm. same. So that would be Which great. And also handy. what I'd love them to bring in Australia is like a national ID. So Because I just had to go and transfer my licence because I moved 10 minutes mm. away because I'm back to being New South Wales. So yes. I had to go to like the RTA. Did you have to re-register your car? Yeah, so I have to, I have to go get a blue <laughs> slip and all this stuff. <laughs> and I'm sort of like, why? Like mm. what's really- You're going to get they- pulled over more in Canberra now because they're going to see out-of-state plates. They're going to be like, oh, you got a taillight mm. out there. He's causing you're a long way, trouble. You're a long way from home. I just, I'm just, i so happy. But people just <laughs> worry about what the what it will be used for and all this stuff. And I'm, trust me, you sign mm. away more stuff when you click on that I agree for Facebook than that yeah. would give. Yep. It's the same thing. We had a COVID app in Australia. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what the app was, you download it to your phone and it's always on in the background and yeah. it just talks to other phones, doesn't share any information, doesn't, you don't have to do anything. But it means that if you go to a doctor and you test a positive, they can basically download that data and see where you've been and what phones you've been around to try and work out what notify the possible- Notify people. Sh- sh- no, not even notify, just work out the possible oh. spread. Oh, okay, just so that they and have an idea. And that's all it was going to do and- People lost their shit and were complaining about it, going, you're going <laughs> to sell my data and everything. They were complaining about it on Facebook and TikTok. And yeah, all. I was going to say. Yeah. And, I've, yeah. So Fucking the second Facebook. the government wants anything like that, they're out to get you and they're going to do terrible things, but you'll sign a stuff away to TikTok, which you try to, which is stealing your information and selling it. i got to say, TikTok is very addictive. I can see why you would. Yeah. You would, it is, you, isn't I it? I can see why you'd give it up for that. You, you turn TikTok on for like five minutes and then you're just scrolling for an hour and it just yep. goes. Is there that much yep. good content on there? No. It's all terrible. No. But you no, just but you got it. You- the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You'll see one this thing. This is like and the old timey oh, days of listening to the radio and just praying that a good song comes on eventually. <laughs> But then you'll find a video that you might like and then you'll go click on it and you'll go, okay, show me other people using that same audio and what they're doing with it. And, yeah, it's – I don't know, man. I don't understand it, but it is I still haven't been on there, but it doesn't sound good. But I I was freaked out recently when I did learn that TikToker is now a profession that people – Yeah. Yep. Ah. That's like Vine Vine Star or whatever the fuck they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vine Star doesn't have much of a ring to it. No, it doesn't. And it pretty much just meant – Shows your tits on Vine. <laughs> TikToker anyway. seems to be a little bit more sophisticated, but I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of uh, dirty sluts, um, there's some Amber Heard follow-up. <laughs> uh-huh. No, I'll say it. I'll, I'll stand by it. Uh, all right. A couple of pieces of Amber Heard follow-up. Well, um, I mean, the most salacious, the most salacious uh, is that there's a rumour going around this week that, uh, that Amber Heard uh, was in a threesome with Elon Musk 
and uh, some model whose name I can't pronounce. Cara Delvine. Is that how you say it? There you go. That's I quite, think so. Quite a bit easier than I uh, anticipated. But Elon's it's come out of, and gone. It's got more letters than you have to say when you sure. say it, I think. Elon yeah. has come out and said, I wouldn't fuck any of these sluts with your dick. And um, <laughs> so he's squarely denied it. Yeah. Hold on. Did he date one of them? He dated Amber Heard, I think, briefly. Yeah. Right? Oh, really? Yeah. Who is this one? I've never heard of her except for this, except for suing Who? Johnny Depp. Amber Heard. Cara Delvine. Oh, Amber Heard. Uh, All right. She's in, movie- she's in movies and stuff. She's a I'm she, down the list, man. person. Yeah, but she know, wasn't in anything that. Uh, she was in a couple of things that you might have seen, but she wasn't like A list. She was sort of making her way up, but not quite. <laughs> making her way up towards B, from, yes. from what I can understand. <laughs> I, it's funny, though. Um, Elon Musk, I can't imagine him really giving a shit. No. And so, I mean, if I was here, I'd almost be tempted to be like, oh, yeah, I probably did bang him, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a lot, I bang a lot of women. Yeah. Oh, those two? Con- yeah, concurrently maybe. and consecutively. So, who Show me a picture knows? of him. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Show me, show me, show me a picture of him kissing. Show uh, me her, yeah, show, me, show me this one's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I do. This does ring a bell. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe he didn't, maybe he doesn't want Grimes to know about it. <laughs> Are they still together? Yeah. They? Okay. They, I mean, they're married, aren't they? I don't know. I mean, know. I don't know if that matters. They, they have a child, don't they? I think so. Well, yeah, that doesn't well, matter. He, he and his, his ex-wife had three ch- children, I think, three. So. Yeah, three. Yeah. And they've got sensible names like John. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's still pissed off about this fucking kid's name. <laughs> it's terrible and it should not be allowed. Fucking kids going to have to spell their name and yeah. teach people how to pronounce it for their entire life. Put that kid back in there until you come up with a proper name. <laughs> uh, Where are the good old-fashioned names like Matthew, Luke, and Daniel? Mm-hmm. In the Bible, that's where they are. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, but the more salacious headline than that possibly is Amber Heard's lawyer and team have quit the lawsuit against Johnny Depp. Yeah. Because well, they knew they were going to lose, or I would imagine that's why. I think it should just go away now, please. Look, oh, I think the one thing that I really would be good to see that someone go ahead with with the whole like the false reporting of abuse. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's something I still want to that to go ahead because yeah, that's do terrible that. and makes it worse for other people who actually are going through that and having more doubt thrown on them if it's true or false. Exactly. Does jo- does double jeopardy apply yeah. here if Johnny Depp goes over to her house and beats the shit out of her? <laughs> you can't be accused of the same crime twice, right? Like Ashley Judd in that movie where she where she beats the shit out of her husband. Well, if he was to do that, that would be a new incident. So yes. Now he could just say no. no this is this is the beating you were talking about. The, the movie with Ashley Judd and and uh, what's his name? Tommy Lee Jones. She goes to jail for the death of her. Oh, no, oh, he didn't go to jail. That's the problem. If he got convicted of it, then I think mm. it would apply. But she yeah, goes to jail for time for it. Yeah, her husband fakes his death, and she does. She goes to jail for it. When she gets out, she finds out he's alive, and so she's she's allowed to kill him. Just, yeah, because you can't convict him. The law. Yeah, yeah. I don't him think for the that's how murder. that works. No, it is how it works. That's what the, uh, you got. That's it's, it's, it's the whole movie's about. <laughs> that is how it works. Oh, the documentary. Yeah, the documentary, <laughs> Double Jeopardy, starring Ashley Judd and Tommy Lee Jones and uh, whatever the guy who is who plays her husband. I can never remember that guy's name. Well, anyway, Amber Heard's going away. Yep. Thank God. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you will never hear about her in follow-up news ever again. Uh, there's some exciting news we haven't talked about yet. I'm going to highlight the article here. Mm. Uh, it's it, it happened just after we recorded last week, I think, right? So we didn't well, even get a chance to talk about it. We speculated a little bit on yeah. what it might be. So and we get a new Star Wars game. And it's looking like the game that we actually want, not like mm-hmm. a Rogue Squadron. This is looking a lot more like the old X-Wing. Mm. And it actually got me to reinstall or plug in my VR headset again to try and start getting ready for, ready for it. What headset do you have? Just an Oculus Rift. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking again, because they're cheaper. Yeah. But that's Facebook. It's fucking Facebook again. Get yeah, out of here. But you don't have, it's only if you want to use like the chat functions and invite your friends. So I haven't, I didn't sign up with my Facebook. I created a separate account. And- We're talking about Star Wars Squadrons. 
Uh, the new game from EA where you'll get to buy new skins for your X-Wing and new skins for your X-Wing pilot's outfit and you can pay to get more guns and stuff, I bet. Yeah. Look, if you guys both play this and you both tell me it's the greatest experience of your life, <laughs> maybe then I'll play it. Well, I actually played, I started playing X-Wing Alliance last night just to- Was that the greatest like experience of your life? And God, it is fun flying around. I'm just flying around in, in um, the YT-1300 at the moment. I haven't got to X-Wing, but I'm looking forward to it. Did you play that in VR? No. Oh. No, the, the, that would look terrible in VR. I think VR is the only thing that might entice me into this because uh, that could be interesting. There are, but There are things about the trailer. So the trailer itself was kind of just like a cinematic almost. Yeah. It, mm. it, was, it was exciting and cool and wet my appetite, but the gameplay footage kind of got me excited, but then also got me going, hmm, a little yeah. bit because it could still be very arcadey. Mm. Like if it's like the flying segments in Battlefront, is that what I'm thinking of? Battlefront? You know, where you mm-hmm. fly in that? I think it's, it's going to be a, might it's fine, lean a little bit but- more towards the multiplayer side of that, which- because it seems like the missions are structured because they were implying that you, you have a dogfight and then there's mm-hmm. a phase two where you got to destroy some fucking transports and then there's a phase three where you got to destroy the enemy command ship or whatever. So Which, it seems like it's going to be that's fairly- al- Already in Battlefront 2. That's what I mean. So yep. I'm worried yeah, guys, that that's, it's going to be like that. not sounding great, I, I must say. Plus, the, but- the kind of science fiction and space games that I like to play, anytime I have to fly a spaceship, I'm like, oh, just get me there. <laughs> it's not the well, flying not, that I enjoy. I'm not looking forward to the multiplayer side. I want the single player story. Mm-hmm. And I think it's really interesting that you're going to play like both sides, like a rebellion and imperial. I don't know how much of a story it's going to be, though. It's just mm. going to be mm. here's your mission now. Go and fight these guys. Destroy this. Okay. <laughs> but well that done. was the you same know, as the, that was the same else. as the X Wing and Tie Fighter games, I and know, they were great. You've, you've played those. Yeah, but <laughs> I want to play on prettier graphics. <laughs> mm-hmm. In VR, so I'm going to buy this game twice, unless the mark- new Xbox console comes with VR, which I don't <laughs> think so. So I'm going to play it on Xbox for achievements, and then I'm going to play it on P- PC just to play in VR. They haven't announced anything about that. There's no fucking VR announcement for the new Xbox. There's got to be right. It's got to have VR. I- the PlayStation 4's already got it, so the PS5 is going to have it. So why haven't they fucking said anything? I don't know because remember, even a couple of years ago at E3, they brought Bethesda yes. out and they announced what was it, Fallout or Skyrim VR. Yes. Xbox. So you're thinking, okay, Xbox is going to get VR, and then nothing came of it. Nope. And I wonder why. I wonder what's going on. I think they were still just waiting to see if VR took off, which still sort of hasn't. It absolutely yes. hasn't. When I first yeah. heard about VR on Behind the News in 1989, <laughs> when I was in year three, I thought it looked like the most amazing thing ever. And mm. I don't know whether it just never lived up to its own promise or whether the experiences I've had with it have just not been positive, but there's just nothing about I've, I've VR. I've played some that fun is- stuff in it, but it's just—it's never yeah, justified but, I mean, the, the price enough, but for me. Yeah, to, yeah. to me, VR goggles are to a television screen what headphones are to speakers. Like, yes, mm, it makes sure. it slightly more direct to my face. But it doesn't actually <laughs> improve the gameplay in any yeah. measurable yes. quantity. Yes, now I can watch porn on the bus. <laughs> I think part of the reason why it didn't take off as much is there are too many people competing against each other for like a small slice of the market. So you've got Oculus, yeah. Yeah. Um, Mixed Reality, um, the HTC Vive, and they mm. all have stuff that you can't use the other. So oh, I, the, I can't use my Rift one? to play... Uh, the Microsoft Index. VR games. Mm. Like, Valve Index, is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, right. Like pinball I also think and stuff. The, the games that they specifically make for VR are not necessarily the games I like playing. It, mm. To me, it's, it's comparable to when you go and see a 3D movie. And so mm. it's not just a movie with a third dimension. It's like all this shit coming at you, gimmicks, as you yeah. say. And I find the the games for VR are like that too. If if you did give me a Fallout yeah. or something, and it was just no gimmicks, but just fucking look behind you, there's a fucking super mutant coming. Like, sure, I'm I'm in. That sounds good, <laughs> but that's just not the shit that's that's been thrown I out. Do, you do have that, except I don't. They didn't get the walking. Like, I want to be feeling immersed, mm. but with that, the movement is the jump. 
Like you, you want you want the thing you want the device from Lawnmower Man, yeah. don't you? Yes, Where yes, you're I just do. In, <laughs> suspended in the air, moving in any direction, and you don't. No, I want that too. Uh, that's one. As, as I said, just the goggles are just not. Eventually, we'll skip that because it'll just have a fucking thing in your brain, and then your body will just be like, "Yeah, I'm okay yeah. with that." Sign me up. Luke's only one step away from that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because here's the thing, the first time I ever tried VR, like, like after years and decades even of build-up, you know, from behind the news, um, they put that thing on me and then I started, like, turning my head and they're like, no, 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 if you want to turn, you've got you to gotta move the stick on the controller. I was like, well, what the fuck is the point? <laughs> fucking ran off down the aisle and they're like, come back. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> fucking fly kicking in the air. <laughs> they charged me with assault. <laughs> me. <laughs> Well, speaking of the new Xbox, sort of, there's been a game delay. People are really pissed off about it. But I'm actually well, kind of- Really a pissed bit- off is an understatement, Matthew. <laughs> I'm a little- I'm actually not unhappy about it. No. From a certain perspective. So, Cyberpunk, the game I'm most looking forward to in the world right at the moment, yeah, uh, has been delayed again till November this mm-hmm. time. Another two months. Which means potentially- uh, it's going to get closer to when the new Xbox comes out. Which I quite like, because I was going to get it the day- it, I was, I'm going to get the new Xbox. I was going to get this- mm. but, uh, I'm going to get the new Xbox too. I was going to get Cyberpunk, but I was going to buy it on the Xbox One version and then just automatically upgrade when I got the new one. Now I won't have to yeah. worry about that. It's getting mm-hmm. close to just being a launch title. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which I think is a much better tactic anyway. Play a great new game on a great new console. Yes. And they did confirm 100% that if you buy it on Xbox One or Mm -hmm. PlayStation 4, you will get it for free in the upgraded version on the next next generation. Yeah, but then you've got to start playing it in a version that you know is not as pretty as the version you could be playing. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm still going to do it, but... Yeah, I'm probably going to do it too. It depends on the timing. Well, now I'm not going to be able to hold off. The rumours are that the new consoles are coming November. Which I think they well, want perfect. It's the perfect time for it to come out because it's it's, still give, it's shopping enough shopping time before Christmas for people to still go out and buy it. So yeah, but people were so fucking mad about this on Twitter. <sighs> I couldn't believe some of the comments on it. So how they, does they, it feel to like, be scum? <laughs> yeah, CD Projekt Red put out this nice tweet saying, you know, we want to take the time. I mean, look, it's fucking been a global pandemic, right? Things mm-hmm. have been rough. They want to put some polish on the game. They said it's finished, but they, you know, they they're just polishing and sorting it all out and stuff. Like, do it. Fucking make it, make it good, yep. right? Make it as good as you can make it, yeah. Fuck me. People were so bitchy about it. Like, I will never buy another product from you again. Yeah. Fucking yeah. ruin my life. I, w- I want this game <laughs> so off. much, I'm not going to play it out of spite. <laughs> yeah, I cancelled my yeah. pre-order yeah. because do, I want it so much. Do what other people do and just release a broken game. Yeah. yeah fuck. And then hell. just have to have patch after patch to try to even fucking get it up to- where everyone wanted <laughs> yeah. it to be in the first place. But so many people go, I will never buy anything from you again and all this stuff. I don't but, really. Well, the people were saying, oh, you know, I've, I mean, this happened last time as well, where they were like, oh, I already booked my leave and now I can't cancel it. You fucking ruined my life. Which? Like, I booked, you know, a month off work to play through it and now I, you've ruined it. It's like, oh, Which I can sort right. of understand that, but also. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, you may have to go and change your leave now. I'm sure you can handle yeah. do that. Well, most places will let you, but but come on. But I prefer a better a working game. Uh, I want them to take their time, make the game as good as possible. Yes, That's especially for such a big game. Fuck yeah, man. It's going to be complicated as hell. Just play something else until then. There's other games. <laughs> There's plenty of other games coming yeah. out. Oh, the other one too was like, oh, you you just fucked over everybody who's only on a PS4 and can't afford a PS5. Like, what does that mean? You still get to play the game. Yeah, I don't even understand what that coming means. Coming out on PS4, like, yeah, yeah. Just, I must uh, say, I'm, I almost considered buying a, a PS4 just for, uh, just for The Last of Us. Yep, and I, I actually brought a PS3 for The Last of Us years ago. <laughs> I, I never too. played it, it's, but took up to my TV right now with The Last of Us in in the disc drive. <laughs> I played it. <laughs> But have you seen the new one that people are review bombing that now? Yes. Because they're mad because, I don't even understand. They're mad because Ellie's not like a lesbian. She's bisexual or something. No, and, some are upset that I don't she care is enough bisexual to look into it. at all. I don't know. I've just. They're I, mad about something stupid. 
Yeah, right. Mm. But they're right. They're fuck. like giving it bad reviews. They're, everyone's still going out and buying it, though. So yeah, they're mad about some some thing that they take as a social justice attack on their fucking life or something, and they're review bombing the game as a result of something stupid. Is that is that what we're is that the deal? Well, uh, I didn't bother looking into it. I was just like, Whoa. yeah, I, I didn't really pay too much attention because they're just doing it for I don't know. That's the new hit big thing. Is just yeah. The Last of Us are terrible, even though everyone's still buying it. Like, it's a smashing sales record. Yeah, it's the biggest fucking game of all time, and everyone's loving it, and it's got great reviews. Everyone loves it, but... Yeah, no. it's its sales are through the fucking roof. And it, it's one of the most diverse games ever in terms of reaching a diverse audience. Yeah, people got nothing better Fuck to off. do, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you don't like the game, that's fine. Oh, yeah. that's absolutely but like, fine. But this is, not, this, is not, this is not that. This is just some coordinated... Shitting on it for stupid political reasons. Yeah. They're not actually, re- yeah, a lot of people like the game's like a 30 hour game, and this started happening after it's like seven hours of release. It, <laughs> people, so people haven't finished it, but yeah, they're just all out there. And a lot of mm. like the ones, like some reviews have like agenda, feminism, SJW, woke, pandering, mm, yeah, political crap, like all these other crap that play the game if you want to play it. If you don't, don't. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it's a bit rough to say. A game that I don't want to play is something that I'm not going to like, you know? Like, okay, mm. don't play it. That's don't play it. Absolutely you don't fine. have to play no it. No one is saying you have to play it. If, if mm. There's plenty of other games that you can play. I mean, sure, you can't be the KKK in Red Dead Redemption anymore. I mean, fine. But, uh, <laughs> you know, there's other <laughs> yeah, games I'm sure that. you'll enjoy as well. So this was uh, this, this Red Dead thing that was uh, hackers could spawn... KKK members in the online game. Mm-hmm. Is that- yeah. But yeah. I mean, there, there is KKK in, in Red Dead. Yeah, but I think what was happening was people were, um, you know, because like, remember we talked about how hackers could spawn the two-headed skeleton? Yep. Mm. I think they were doing the same thing with, with clan members, which, I mean, actually, and I did read actually a very, um, I guess, disturbing account. I think we talked about it, of somebody who attempted to play Red Dead 2 as a person of color, and uh, people- I guess took the role playing a little too far. Yep. Do we talk about? Did we talk about that? I think we. And did. I was like, "Fucking that is just fuck off." Where they, yeah, they just kept fuck. going around. Like, got a group of people together and we just hounded yep. this one person. And I think that also happened in Fallout seventy six. Threatening to be to, fair, yeah. that would have been what it would have been like. That's yeah, but that. Yeah, but come then, on. yeah, they're not doing That's, it for that. Yeah. No, so I'm not. I'm not. Def- I'm not defending them. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just saying <laughs> for the for the player who wanted an authentic. This is a historically accurate server. Being, if you want to play on our server, <laughs> being singled out and targeted is exactly what it would have been like to be a person of color back in the old west. Yes. Be it. Yeah. Some- People or now, as a Matt. Joke or now. And- yeah. <laughs> One day. Can I just say, and yeah. we, like, thankfully, we've gotten through almost an entire episode without having to mention racism. Yeah, but we got dragged into it again. But the fact that people are putting nooses up now as like a protest uh, to Black Lives Matter don't is even very, fuck off. very disturbing. Yeah, like, and th- their protest is like, all lives matter, so I'm going to hang this up because, yeah, all lives should matter. And so it's like, yeah, that, that's hold the on, problem. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No one yes. said your life doesn't. No, <laughs> no. Just, it, it, it's like when people said save the whales. They didn't say save yep. the whales and fuck all other sea animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, save the rainforest. Yeah. Like, Screw it's, the it's ocean. It's like if, if people said save the whales and you go, no, I love all marine life. And then you started yeah, putting yeah. up fucking nooses where whales hung out. He's like, whoa, 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 that doesn't sound like you love all marine life. It sounds like you fucking hate the whales. Yeah. yeah. I, people just don't And that's why I've, I've had to stop looking at comment sections of everything. It's terrible. Because no, no, I, don't, I don't like the internet. Mm. There, I've said it. No. Don't like it. I hate the internet. I hate mm. it. It's just people. Yeah, Luke's just- maintained that opinion for quite a while now, mm. let's be honest. Yeah, that's true. I flip flop on it. Before we move away useful. from politics and gaming, because, you know, if there's going to be yes. politics and gaming combined, I want it to be hardcore fascism and I want it to be Disco <laughs> Elysium, right? So yes. I have discovered this week that Disco Elysium has a hardcore mode and now I'm contemplating a third oh, thing again. Playing. Do it. What does hardcore mode entail? Allow me to tell you, but I'm going to have to Google. Uh <laughs> 
start with the game difficulty goes way up. Way up, you'll have to get used to failure, especially since the mode also limits your resources. The game's NPCs are poorer than before and have less money to drop. Oh, yeah. Um, Big Pharma will also screw you over and will make over-the-counter drugs more expensive and less effective. Okay. Yeah, you basically (laughs) have to rely far heavier, far heavier, far more heavily on the the articles of clothing that, that... Right, give you boosts for uh, different attributes. And I have seen that that is a big part. The clothing is a big part of the game. It's not oh like, yeah, it's not just a, <laughs> yeah to make your character look a little different to just for no, sake of you look skin. fucking ridiculous. But you have to because you need the oh, particular Matt. stats. Yeah, uh, Matt. Let me, Matt. I'm pasting this in. Give me one okay. reason why I shouldn't buy this. All right. One single reason. <laughs> I can't think of any. Buy it. I want it. I want it. Jesus. I, I really want it. It's, that is it, great. This is Do the, it now. Um, There's only one available. Oh. I know, but here's the thing, right? So if, if this stays this in at the- all, this is the horrific necktie from Disco Elysium. Now, this is a necktie that you find very early on in the game, and it talks to you, and it has opinions, and it fucks with your hair. <laughs> and if you're wearing it during the ending, um, you- it helps you out in, in a way that you don't get if you um, wear any other article of neck attire. And it's only 30 <laughs> bucks, but it's something like $50 to get this sent to Singapore. So I just, oh, uh, I just can't justify the fact that this would be quite an expensive tie for something that's... Uh... Do you want me to buy it for you? <laughs> well, then you've got to bring it to Singapore. It's 22 bucks. I'll buy it. I can buy it right now. <laughs> What's the shipping <laughs> like, though? I'm liking a lot of these posts. Po- Four dollars. Four dollars. <laughs> Don't ship uh, it to and my th- work. And that'd be pretty ship. cheap to ship for you to ship to Dan, wouldn't it? Because it is quite small and light. <laughs> what did you say about me, cunt? <laughs> <laughs> you heard. Here's the, here's the list. Uh, Disco Elysium wiki. Here's the list of the hardcore mode. All checks are made more difficult. When you fail, you'll be a total disaster. Okay, so I guess it's like you know now if like if you fail a roll, you still have some other options. This is like if you fail to do something, maybe that really fucks you up. Yeah, there's less money to find around because mm-hmm. you can find quite a bit of money if you just go around with your little plastic bag. Mm. Drugs are as effective as they were before. Okay. Clothes matter even more, and the thought cabinet options are more pronounced. So I, I think it just takes away your kind of safety nets that the game gives you. I'm going to need your address, Dan. All right. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it. That sounds fun. I fucking I hurry up so and release good. it on Xbox. Yeah, they're doing that, right? Yeah, they are. But with everything that's going on, it may have slowed down a little bit. So one other thing that's, that got announced this week that I do want to talk about. Um, a lot of conventions and, and things have been cancelled for the year. Concerts, I was supposed to be at a concert this week. Canned. Yeah. Not happening. PAX. PAX West and PAX Australia cancelled. Yep. yep. Which I had a very strong feeling it was going to happen, but still held out a little bit of hope because they hadn't announced it yet. But it's Well, official. they've got something for you. They've got PAX Online which is taking place in September, and it's nine fucking days long. Do I still need a ticket? No. You don't. You can just come to it on the internet. So I'm going to take a week off work, I guess, and uh, and do packs online. So they're still going to do panels? They're still going to do panels and stuff like that? It's just going to stream. That's Panels, game announcements. Not only that, I don't know know where they've... uh, Because I read the, the press release for it. They're... They haven't announced what it is, but they're coming up with ways to try out the games. And then I was thinking, I wonder if it's something like GeForce Now or Stadia or something. Mm. If they can get a hookup for that, they can let people play the games. So, I, I mean, that's that's my theory because the press release said that they, they're working on methods for people to be able to still demo the games as well. So, that's pretty exciting. Like, whatever yeah, it is, I'm sure is it'll interesting. be interesting. Because, I mean, that's a big part of PAX, right? Hands-on. Yeah. Well, yep. the good thing about this is I'll probably see more of the stuff I missed out in past years because yeah. 
I there are all panels I want to go see, but then mm. I'll get there or I'll forget about it. So now I'll just be able to watch them. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, you have to line up. You're I mean, you can, you can watch them later anyway. Usually yeah. on Twitch, it's just the thing that annoyed me most about PAX the, the the one and only time I've gone was that if you want to see two panels in the same venue in a row. You have to you're go pretty line much up. A fucked. You can't. Yeah, you yeah can't. you've got to leave and line up, which could yeah. mean that you don't get back in. Yep. Yep. Even if you're yeah. like in the same spot where you just can I just sit here? I'll sit up the back. Yeah. I don't even need to be. Well, close, I so. I thought I was clever because <laughs> I I went to see something that I didn't want to see as much so because I wanted to there. see the thing after, and mm-hmm. uh, I was like, prime real estate. No, get out. Line up again. Yep. <laughs> didn't Screwed. didn't get back in. Well, not anymore. You don't even have to pay now. You can just. Look on your computer. 24 hours. 24 hours. Fucking nine days. Fucking hell. Yeah. I don't know all right. how that's going to work. Right. But, yeah, I'll, I'll watch it and we'll see. So that's happening in September now, isn't it? Cause that is correct. Let yep. me give you the dates if you, if you wish. It's going to be from September 12th to September 20th. Uh, so I, I guess it's the same time as PAX West usually is, I guess. I must well, be I'll see you there guys there. In there somewhere. Yeah, see you guys should, right here. We should treat it like a, like we're there together. We should yep. wear our nerdiest t shirts. Yeah. We should eat pizza at the same time. <laughs> yeah. You know. Only eat fucking uh, granola bars during the day. Yeah. And then when we can finally sneak away from a panel, I, I literally, not, we <laughs> yeah. can't be watching anything if we're going <laughs> to, yeah. We have to like sacrifice something. We should invite and Dave. It can't be good But food. he doesn't show up. He just gets stoned off his fucking pits. <laughs> And then lies on the floor of the hotel crying. Yeah. Or then calls me and says, I'm lost.